Hello there guys, welcome back to the vlog. Um, well, it's been a long time since I've vlogged and um, I thought it's time to give you guys an update on the house and how it's going so far really. So this is the main room. As you can see, it's still in a mess. So you go all that. I have a fridge now, which I'm trying to sell because I no longer need that. I'm not sure if I showed you guys that before or not. But yes, yeah, so we have a fridge, we have a bath panel, we've got a little basin, got the edge for that, bath. So that's what, now we have a new fridge, which is a integrated one. And then some little bits and bobs there. And a lot of uh, stuff's here actually. So we had a new worktop fitted. This is the colour. It's quite nice when you see it in real life. It's actually quite nice. Um, we've got all these still left to fit. Uh, you got some more of these. So that one's, that's for the window top here so that's going to be replaced. This is something we've got and just cut out. So wow. I'm not sure where exactly I left off, but obviously we still got this big room still to paint. We haven't done that yet because obviously we've been busy on other stuffs. We've got, we have now added some floorboards. Now I've done that yesterday in fairness. Took a very long time. We've painted the doors white. If you guys remember this was brown. So every single door is now going to be white. So just need to gloss it, it hasn't been glossed just yet. We're going to be adding floor laminates, so that's why these are all boarded up. And then we're going to have carpets going up that way. If you guys remember, this door was here. But now it's, we've got a little place for the garage, so we open that up. So now, it's locked at the moment. Well, it's a bit of there you go, and this is now you can get into the garage from the house, so you don't have to open that big door now. There's some little ch few changes here, which I have done myself, which is quite, which I'm happy. So you can see, there's a new socket there, there used to be an old one. I've got a fuse box which connects to the kitchen, which I'll show you guys as well, what I've done there. I've got a new wire inside there. There's some more little boards left. So we're going to be using that for the kitchen. I uh, can't remember if, if I showed you guys that I've added some new sockets. So that was already there. But we obviously need one here. As always, you do need something. I've also added a socket on this side as well. So you can see just where the door is. There's a socket here. So what we're going to do is have some CCTV camera going through there. And then obviously sockets here. Normally it says on the uh, on like the you know the CCTV box, because um, basically what it is, I've got the Nest camera coming, and they say to put on a um, an outside socket for some reason. So instead of doing that, I'm going to do that so that way no one can switch it off. Uh, I shall show you the upstairs. So as you can see, carpet's all gone, underlay's all gone. Here's the room. So this is the first room that we have already painted. So it's going to be a white, white ceiling with a grey finish here on this side. It looks really nice. I'll pull you. There you go. If it focuses. It actually is starting to look nice now. Painting all, well this room is more or less done. Just to do some few touches up here. Then you've got the other room, also the same, we've got grey, and we have this, the new wardrobe, so push it in, comes out, and that is all the space in there, quite nice, and they got all that fitted up there, so no gaps, which I really like. Show you guys a small room. Well, at the moment we have panels if it focuses. 
There you go. Panels here. So this room has now become a mess a bit. We've obviously painted everything. And here is the bathroom. This is something you guys have not seen. And that is we have put some nice laminates. So this is the wood effect. Looking good. Gonna put some panels. So you, those panels are gonna be all over the wall here. We've already put two panels up here, so it's the gloss white. It looks really nice. And if you guys remember, there was a little shower box here. So that would come from here and go around. And then you have a little space here where the boiler used to be. Well, then you just have like pipes going through there, but now no more pipes. Looking good. So you're going to have the bath coming here, the new sink here, bath, toilet, new toilet, everything. We're just going to look cool. So that's going to be quite nice. So it's quite cool actually. The fact that it is a big change at the moment. So we've glossed the sides as well. New heaters put on. And I've already got my little OB stand ready. So it's slowly coming together. Go back down so I'm going to show you guys something else that I've done myself, which I'm actually proud of. It was my first time in fairness, and I've also added a socket here. So if I remove all these, there you go. There's a socket. I wanted to add a socket uh, in the small little room, so that way I could have charge my um, Dyson Hoover. So wall mount the Dyson Hoover, and at least that way it's charging there out of the way as well so it's quite cool the fact that I was able to do that we have a hive thermostat which is already out of battery I don't really understand why because the guy did say it lasts for a very long time I've also got some smart, re smart readers fitted so that's that gas and electric it's pretty cool I've got some new switches so you can see the chroma so that's going to be like magnetically attached to the Philips Hue one and this is the kitchen. This is the big difference, as you can see. We had the um, the other boiler in the here, so that's been taken out. We have the new boiler in here, so I'll show you guys. There it is, all hidden away. I'll be hiding all the wires as well. So this is something that I've done myself. Apart from when they first did the well, the first ones. The people came and done those three and that and this is what I've done all of this I'm really proud how it came out it looks amazing so we've got the little drawers here so you've got the three small ones and then one of the big ones so you can put bigger items soft touch clothes we have the freezer there fridge, normal cupboard, obviously a tool stand and I've also got the wall mounted units here. Obviously I've not taken this out yet because it's still working so I don't want to take it off just yet. So as you can see this is quite nice the fact that I was able to do it myself so that's pretty cool. And um, the, here is something that I was talking about in the garage, the fuse. So I've added three sockets here which in a kitchen you do need. So I've got that sorted. I was originally going to put one here because of the cooker, which is right there. I was going to put one here, but it's not really going to work out because of the steam and all whatever is going to be coming out. I've added a socket here, so I can put something here like the microwave or something. Probably add that there. And then you've got the hive control there, so you can control it from your smartphone. So if you want to turn the heater on, you can do it from the phone. Or it's the fuse for that. I didn't really have the fuse showing here, so I just left it as the three sockets and the fuse in the garage. So it just makes it more tidy and just looks nice. You can see I've got the Philips Hue here. So that's going to be going underneath here. I've already got some Philips Hue started. You can see some wires there, so I haven't really finished just yet. So I'm just going to quickly turn it on for you guys and I'll show you some of the lights. I've not put the Philips Hue just yet. I'm going to make a separate video for that one on my main channel and do the whole house basically it's going to be Philips Hue so it should look pretty cool so if I turn those on you can see the lights I've now turned on so you can see here 
turn it off, that's off, and there's a the light. So I've completed that side, so you can see it goes all the way there. I've done that bottom one, I've still got this one left to do. That one's already turned on as well, but I just need to stick it up there. Yeah, slowly coming together. We're going to be going all this tiled up to the window, at least that way I've matched that top bit on the bottom. Going to get all that tiled up, so that's going to look nice. And then I'm going to put my um, sockets, so you can see. This is the socket I'm going to be putting, so it matches every single socket that I have in the house. So it looks nice, apart from that white one, because that's going to be covered. I'm going to make a box. So this is the white ones. Obviously there's one in here, not many people are going to look there. But the one in the front of the house, this one, that's going to be hidden away. And I'm going to have that boxed up. So that's the update so far. Today, we're going to go get some more boards for the kitchen, because obviously it's a bit too high now, so you have to match it. This is the laminate that's going to go in the kitchen. So we're going to do all that and then start doing the laminates and that will be the kitchen complete and then obviously paint it again because of all this so I think you can see already those two spots right there I need to paint over that and this has become a bit dirty so you can see there's some black smudges got scratched here so I just need to paint it and fill it up again got some new side um, Skirting board's coming. Well, I think we've already got it in fairness, but that's going to be going on. Uh, there's going to be laminate floor in here as well, so that'll be cool. And we have the carpet coming. It's like a light grey carpet with dark grey on the downstairs. Well, the laminate's going to be a bit more darker grey because this was the lightest one I was able to find for some reason, but which looked nice. And here we're going to have carpet as well. Yeah, so everything's coming together slowly. So I'm just excited the fact that I was able to put quite a lot of these stuffs myself. So that was quite cool. The kitchen, I think, gotta say, just looks amazing. Obviously, need to remove all the stuffs which are not necessary, but then it's gonna look nice after that. And then have the lights all there. Sort that problem out there. Oh, it keeps unfocusing. There you go. So that hole there, that needs to be fixed. So, uh, yeah, that is the update so far for all this. And that's what that is why I haven't been vlogging for such a long time as well. It is hard work, I gotta say. Especially doing all these, they do take time. And obviously doing it really nicely. So you gotta imagine how, you gotta take your time to get these perfect. Getting you all connected. Taking measurements as well. Okay, doing it like three, four times just to make sure it's right. But yeah, it came out really good. So obviously there's the four drawers. And then you got the fridge and freezer. I've not powered it all just yet. But yeah, that's everything uh, so far. Because we've painted the hallway now. Just going to gloss this side got the light there because I'm still thinking whether to put a light up there or not because that part just becomes a bit dark so I'm still debating whether to do it or not um, but yeah other than that hopefully next time I do vlog this should have uh, some laminate hopefully not exactly sure when I'm gonna start doing the floor yet because we've got the carpet people coming outside in six days so we've got to finish everything off before they come. So we paint all this room. This is going to be quite hard for quite a big room. Because we've only done the um, plaster paint. I think I've, I've vlogged that one. But um, yeah, so we've got to do all that. And I've been getting a lot of uh, tools as well. Which is quite, quite cool actually. I like having something. So I've got some sticker pads here for the LED. Uh, these are the old ones that I had to take off from my room. I bought the newer ones, which is not too bad. They changed the design of the strips. It's like small LEDs. So you can see there, bits and bobs there. More LED lights, which is going to go inside. 
and then I was doing the electrics myself. Yeah, and these are the wires going underneath. Should be cool. Well, I'm hoping you guys uh, enjoyed that. It's, uh, so I'll give you guys an update of what's happening in the house. And it'll be quite cool looking back as well when I watch the video or something in later years or something. It'll be just quite cool seeing how this used to have like a brown brown cupboards when it first came when we, when we first moved in and we had no plans of changing that. The only reason we changed it is because when the worker was doing the ceiling they dropped one of the I think it was one of the stuff up there dropped down and broke the worktop so I thought why not just change it and make it look nice and yeah came out really good so yeah happy with that I'm gonna make a little box for this as well just to cover that side there you go, so I have a little box there and then tie that box up so it should look neat and tidy so yeah, that's, uh, that's the update for you guys so thank you guys for watching, please like, share and subscribe